Hello, I am Kelly, and this is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances. Recently, probably most people have seen in the news that Simone Biles, who is a world-renowned gymnast, pulled out of the competition in gymnastics. The reason that she did it was because, ultimately because of her mental health. Some people are angry at her for withdrawing. Some people I think have this like suck it up mentality and saying, Hey, you need to just get out there and do this. And there are people who are saying way to go, way to go for taking care of yourself. If you are having a hard time with your mental health, it is okay to reach out for help. And in fact, it's, it's more than okay. It's, it's the best thing you can do for yourself. If you are feeling lonely, if you're feeling like you're at the end of your rope, if you're feeling stressed beyond what you know how to carry, there probably are people in some of your lives that are saying, suck it up, keep going, tire out, you know, push through it. But with mental health, that doesn't work. We have to pour into ourselves so that we actually have something to pour out of. And if we're just trying to push through, we're going to run out of gas at some point and then we're going to be left in a worse position that we are in. I just want to really encourage you that if you're struggling or if you're having a hard time, you're not alone. I personally have complex PTSD diagnosed as a trauma disorder. I have had anxiety and depression in the past. I probably am technically still diagnosed with depression, though I don't know that I agree with it. I just want to let you know that you are enough just the way you are right now. You are loved, and it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to have hard times. It's okay to struggle. It's okay to be stressed. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. That is a human thing. And I feel that too often in our society's past that people have kind of made it so that we have to all deal with our mental health issues under, you know, this cloak and that, you know, other people don't want to see that. So, you know, suck it up, or at least suck it up in front of everybody else and then deal with it in private. Mental health issues are not shameful. They're part of being human. I felt for so long that I was abnormal because I had mental health issues until I realized that no, those of us who have mental health issues are normal. I am tired of the stigma. I'm tired of people shaming other people. You know, the only way that we can get through our mental health issues is to work through them. A veteran who confided in me, shared some experiences that caused his own PTSD. For years, he was running from it and didn't want to deal with it, didn't want to talk about it, didn't want to think about it, because who would want to talk about something that was traumatic? And eventually he reached out for help and went to a therapist. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to reach out and say, I'm not okay. It's okay to not be okay. That is part of being a human. And I'm so tired of the society putting the standard of having to be perfect in every way. It's not real and it's not genuine and authentic. I think there are a lot of people that are afraid of authenticity because that would mean that they would have to actually face the dark stuff. But I just want you to know that when you do face it, you will come out on another side. I still have a trauma disorder and I don't know if it's ever going to be gone. I, I don't know if I'll ever have healed completely from it, but I know that today I am so much better than I was a year ago. And I'm so much better than I was two years before today and three years before today. And that is all that I can ask for for myself. Within my own mental illness, behaviors that I have done have made other people judge me. And like within my own personal life, not necessarily on YouTube, and people just be really confused at my actions because it didn't 
match up with what they thought I should do or thought I should be or how I should be acting. And I also saw that what I was doing was not healthy. It wasn't the reflection of a person that has their mental health in a good place. And the reality is, is that's okay because my mental health was not in a good place. And it's still not where I want it to be, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm a work in progress. Whoever said that we needed to have arrived. Anybody who said that they're just not being real. They're not being genuine. It's ridiculous. It's just a facade. Like we're all on a journey. I just think it's time for us to say, it's okay that I'm not okay. I am okay that I'm not okay. I'm okay with it. I'm not going to try to be something that I'm not. This is where I am right now and that's okay. And I'm working on it and I'm not where I want to be yet, but that's all right. I think that once we have compassion for ourselves is when we start being okay that we're not okay. And then we can also have compassion for others, changing our expectations of ourself and also changing our expectations of others. But I think it starts with us. I will say it a million times, you are enough just for who you are. You are loved in this moment. It's true, it's a fact. Every single human has found themselves in situations where they're not happy or they're stressed or they're overwhelmed or they feel like a failure or they feel alone, they feel rejected. They feel like nobody wants them. And sometimes we as people feel like maybe this world would be better without us. And that is a lie. Don't believe it. You have a story that other people need to hear. Whether it's the people in your immediate family or the people in your friend circle, your story matters. Somebody needs to hear your story because you can actually make a difference in somebody else's life. You matter. You are here because you matter. You are here because you have something in this life that you were meant to do and that you can do, that you can dream of doing, that you can go chase and do. And you can find a community of people that can help you do that. Let's say you don't have an immediate family that's supportive. You don't have a friend group that's supportive. Okay, there are people out there that you can reach out to and develop that. And for me, it started with going to therapy because that helped me to address my stuff My therapist challenged me, let's make some action steps. I don't know that without her, I would have actually done those things. I'm seeing a a psych D, a psychologist who has his doctorate and he specializes in chronic health issues and sleep. My sleep had been messed up because of my trauma disorder for a very long time. And I had tried over and over again to fix my sleep. I was sleeping during the day, I was sleeping at odd hours, I was sleeping here and there, I wasn't sleeping in my bed because there was trauma associated with being in a bed. I talked to this expert and he said, okay, let's let's start having action steps. And the accountability that I had with him helped me as I've gotten these things in place and I've been getting my sleep in place and I've been figuring other things out, that has prepared me and empowered me to do other things. I've had a really hard time because of my trauma disorder and connecting with other people. I would get extreme anxiety if anybody would text me or reach out to me or try to connect me. And even though I was dying for connection, it was something that felt like an impossible barrier for me to overcome. And I've been working on it really hard. And while I'm not where I want to be, I have made such huge strides. I have been regularly texting and calling and FaceTiming. I have more regularly followed up on text messages that I used to just not even respond to because I was in my trauma. I feel really good about that. And like I said, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm moving there and I'm okay that I'm not okay. And 
there are going to be people in your life that aren't okay with you not being okay. And if that's the case, they, they don't need to be in your life. I need people who are going to build me up and support me and love me where I am. And you know what? We all deserve people who love us where we are. And it might be hard to find people like that, but they're out there and it is important to keep looking and to not give up. If you take only one thing away from this, it's okay. If you're not okay, it's normal. Perfect doesn't exist. It's just not a concept that any of us humans can, can reach. You are enough. You are enough. I seriously want to get it tattooed on my wrist. Enough. If I wasn't worried that I would be allergic to the dye. <laughs> enough. I am enough. You are enough. We are enough. And it's okay to not be okay. I love to hear from you wherever you're at, what you're struggling with, where you are in this process. Are you okay with not being okay? Are you working toward being okay with not being okay? Just love to hear where you're at. I'm glad that we get to have conversations like this. I'm Kelly and you are not alone. Not at all. Go find your incredible anyway. I'm just having a good time, having a bad day.